Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to get latest version in Team Foundation Server 2013. When you create your solution um, using Visual Studio, uh, any code that you do in Visual Studio, usually what happens is when you create the code, it gets uh, downloaded to your local repository. Any folder that you create in Team Foundation Server uh, needs to be mapped to your local repository. Now, once the code is done, when, once you're done with the changes that you made, now um, that code needs to be checked in in TFS in order to have that code actually basically in T Team Foundation Server. So, uh, in this video, we're going to learn uh, how to actually get the latest version of that particular code that you worked on uh, on a project. So. I'm gonna go in my server. Here's my Visual Studio, and uh, he, I have three branches right here: Dev branch, Main branch, and Prod branch. If you notice right here, the Dev branch and Main branch are kind of bold, but uh, this is grayed out. The Production branch. The reason it's grayed out because I created the Production branch, and it went in my local repository, and it is not in T Team Foundation Server at this moment. Uh, the 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 latest changes are not really in Team Foundation Server. So what I'm going to do is get the latest changes in order for it to appear just like Dev and Main. So we're gonna go ahead and click right click on that, and up here it says that get latest version. If you click on undo pending changes, then it's this this branch is gonna go away. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on get latest version, and it's gonna download uh, this particular branch in TFS so now if we click on team foundation you will see that dev main and prod they are not none of them are grayed out so this is how you get this is just the uh, branch side of the but uh, side of the house but if you have source control if uh, I'm sorry your uh, code that's uh, on your local repository and you wanted to get the latest version you click on that uh, particular project and, and or the particular uh, code and you right click on that and get latest right here the first tab up here get latest version and you click on that this is how you get the latest version of your code in team foundation server i hope it helps